There are tons of business podcasts to choose from, but only one has the stamp of approval. Kristen Stampini is South Florida's leading real estate entrepreneur and your trusted source for everything real estate. I would like to welcome our listeners and thank you for joining us today for an episode of our podcast, The Stamp of Approval. I'm Kristen Stampini, co-founder of of the Stampini team with Remax in Boca Raton, Florida. I'm also a certified real estate coach with the Craig Proctor Systems and the owner of Global Virtual Assistants. The Stamp of Approval podcast was launched to share and educate other realtors, consumers, and other business owners across North America by sharing and educating and sharing value and content to our listeners in each and every episode. I share my experiences and triumphs and failures and strengths throughout my entire life with the hope of my audience being able to expand their knowledge on everything real estate, business, sales, and mindset oriented. We recently launched Stamp TV on YouTube uh, where I share weekly real estate tips. And if you like this podcast, We just ask that you please share it with others that you think would like it as well. So today, I welcome my guest, Barb Schinkler, a friend of mine for many, many years, a great realtor in the Colorado Springs area. So Barb has been a real estate broker since 1996 in Colorado Springs, and Barb is a Navy veteran and has uh, a company that is 100% veteran-owned. She sells hundreds of homes every year and is known for Barb has the buyers. So she also offers a guaranteed sale. Your homes, your homes sold guaranteed or actually Barb will buy it. So Barb has her own radio show, the Barb Schinkler real estate radio show that airs every Sunday at 4 p.m. on AM 740 KVOR. Barb employs six administrative staff, three lead coordinators, and has seven real estate agents on her team. Barb is actually ranked number three in Colorado Springs for the number of transactions that she closes every year. And she's number seven in the entire state of Colorado. Wow. So I just want to tell you, Barb is, I've watched her grow over the years. She's amazing. And she actually uh, has a great YouTube channel that I actually um, started when I started my YouTube channel that I just talked about. You know, I looked at other people's YouTube channels, was kind of checking it out. Barb Barb does an amazing job at YouTube and actually uses it as a lead generation tool for herself, but also, you know, for, for, for sellers, you know, and, and, um, and getting buyers for her listing. So welcome, Barb. Thank you. I'm so pleased to be here. I appreciate you inviting me. Oh, and it's so nice to have you. So you do such an awesome job at YouTube, and I watch you growing on YouTube all the time as well. Uh, so talk about how you use YouTube as a lead generation tool. Well, um, it all kind of started with a question that one of my colleagues in our group asked, which was, hey, I got this red hot listing. How come you can't find me as the listing agent anywhere online? (laughs) And so I came back and thought, oh, well, let me check this out. I I had this one property that we held an open house. We literally had a line out the door waiting to get in. There were over 100 people at this open house. Big dog pile of buyers, sold for way over asking. Great, 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 great. Okay. But when you search that address, you could not find me as a listing agent. You could find all the big box companies. Uh, I found uh, companies like, well, some other companies actually running ads, offering a discount commission on my active listing. Ah. (laughs) So I was pretty frustrated. It was like, wait a minute. And, And the thing is, the typical buyer, okay, if they're going to see the house on online, they go, oh, okay, I like what I see. So the next step is to get in their car. They drive the neighborhood. They get in front of it. And you think they're going to call the sign, but they don't. Many of them, particularly the millennials, will Google it. <laughs> <laughs> and so whoever shows up on page one of Google and answers the phone wins. That's right. So that's the game. And I I thought I was doing a pretty good job just putting lip in the MLS and Zillow and all these big websites, you know, marketing my listings. But I was finding that our, our buyer leads from our own listings were getting less and less and less. I'm like, what is going on? And now I realize we're just getting robbed of our traffic by all these people, these internet companies in particular, that have made it to page one of Google with my own listing. <laughs> so I, I decided to do something about it. And, and so what did you do? So 
Um, Google owns YouTube and Google really likes video, right? Right now, nobody's, not too many of my competitors are doing video at all. So I started with just doing these kind of Vanna White videos. I call them Vanna White. <laughs> and I, I just have my phone. I have my assistant with my phone and a selfie stick. And we walk through the house and I talk about how wonderful it is. Okay. Um, and then I've learned some search engine optimization tactics to make it to page one of Google. So wow. And how have I you get- done that? What have you done to figure all that out and to make you stand out on Google. That's crazy. Well, first of all, I got mad. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. This isn't fair. You know, I'm doing all this work so my competitors can bring me a buyer. That's not what I intended to do for my team. I want my team to have the first shot at, you know, trying to sell our listing. So, and we do that now. We do a lot of pre-marketing, marketing to our buyer database first before we launch on the MLS. But once we launch on the MLS, that's when the majority of people are seeing it, right? So um, we started doing these videos and the way I set them up in my YouTube channel, I want to make sure like the, the address is the same that, and that's the title that's in the description and that's on the keyword or search term in YouTube is exactly the way these big box companies have it. So like uh, this this example, 80, 8232 Timothy Court. Well, Court is not spelled out the way they displayed it. Court is displayed as CT. So that is my description, followed by name, my name and my phone number. I want a call to action on these videos to get them to call me, not my competitors, because we know the house. We're the ones that knows you know, how to make it happen and how to help the seller get what they want and how to help the buyer get what they want, which is these houses. So I saw yesterday um, when you were teaching everybody, which you did an awesome job, that you were showing how you ranked like at the top of the first page on Google by doing this. Right. Sometimes I get above even the mapping tool if, if all the stars align, but it's, it's hard. It's, it's nonstop. And I'm even going deeper with this by starting to run ads on my own listings to get to the top. It's crazy, right? Yeah. But I mean, that's, I think, you know, what happens in the industry is we get all caught up in, in, you know, okay, this is, this is how it works. We take a listing, we put it in the MLS and then we start showing the property, but you know, getting busy working in the business, we kind of lose track of what, is going on online. So right now, some of these big box firms like uh, Realtor.com, Zillow, Trulia, uh, Open Door, um, Homelot, they're offering to buy homes. Right. They're, so basically, Wall Street is offering to buy homes uh, from sellers directly. So why does a seller need us? I get it. It's kind of hard to show your house. It's not an easy process. Right. Well, and, and just, the process that you have to go into to, to setting it up to sell your home, right? right. So you have to get it ready. It's then you have to deal with showings. I mean, I have had people, you know, desperate to sign a contract just to stop showings. That no, it's <laughs> so, true. You know, it's so the not fun. and the disruptors are coming in and they're saying, Okay, we'll just buy the home. You never have to show it to anybody. We'll buy it from yeah. you. And then they have those hidden fees, lots of them, ten percent oh, yeah. commission or whatever it is, you know, whatever right. it is. But it's crazy. But they're not calling it a commission, they're calling right. it a service fee. That's right. But that's right. And then they're low ball offers. So unfortunately with this these internet companies, you know, stepping into our business, it's really I think robbing our sellers of a lot of equity, you yeah. know we could get them a lot more money if they're just a little patient with our process. Well, and you know, one thing that you said that that's so true is when you're selling a home, a realtor, is they're so caught up in the sales part of it, of getting the listing, that they're not looking at what they can do for the marketing to actually, you know, they're letting... Um, you know, because we have allowed people to take the IDX, right? We, we've, right. as realtors, and so they take it all from us, and th- that's all they do. So like Realtor.com and uh, Zillow and, you know, Red, all, all they do all day is to figure out how to take it from us and market. And, and the thing is, is us as realtors, we're out there selling, so then, you know, we're not learning how to market. And the thing is, is that if you learn how to do it, like you have, and the two big platforms – to get SEO are YouTube and Pinterest. So you're taking it and you're learning the YouTube on how to actually rank the listings so that you can have the buyers 
coming to you directly and that you're at the top of the page above Realtor.com, Zillow, Remax, the the big uh, companies as well, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we want them to call us. It's our That's listing. Right. We know about it. That's These right. other agents have no clue. That's right. They're just door openers and they write <laughs> a 10 minute contract and in you know, they're they're fighting us all the way to closing. So um I, I think most sellers would rather it be smooth and easy and not challenging, but the way the system is rigged right now, I think most of the agents are just programmed to stick it in the MLS and just let some other agent show it. That's and, and it's it's really unfortunate because this one thing I noticed when I first got in the business, you know, I kind of came from a tech background. I was in the Navy. I worked in aviation. I worked in towers and I flew airplanes and that yeah, was all very thank cool. Thank for your services, by the way. That's amazing. Oh, thank you. And, you know, I knew nothing about sales when I got into real estate. Absolutely zero. And I was kind of hoping that my broker would teach me something about it. <laughs> No, nope. but they don't. No, when you There's get your no real marketing, when you get your real estate license, <laughs> that's all you get. <laughs> then you have get. to figure and it all out. You know, at their meetings, they would teach you how to keep them out of lawsuits by filling out the forms, but that was it. Or how to pick up They're, the phone book and make cold calls. That's exactly what my broker said to me actually <laughs> when I asked him because I was new to town. I didn't yeah. know anybody except yeah. a few family members, yeah. so I didn't have a big you know, database to work with of people that I knew in my life that like, like most real estate agents have. I started totally from scratch. That's my I, exact story. I moved to Florida. I knew nobody when I started in real estate. Exactly my yeah, story. And I went, I went right up to my broker and said, okay, so how do I get business? And that's exactly what he said, Kristen. <laughs> he said, pick up the phone book and call. Yeah, that's, that's how they and, teach and us. And so I didn't know any better. I did it. I actually got a sale out of it, which is shocking. Yeah. But, um, but still... It, nowadays you can't do it because everybody's on the do not call list. You could be sued for that's right. cold calling people. That's right. So, you know, so you and I have invested, it. you and I have invested in learning how to market and it did not come from any of the brokers that I used to work with. That's right. And even most all, real estate coaches out there don't show you. I mean, there's, I mean, Craig Proctor, honestly, is the only person that I know that actually shows you how to market properly. Yeah, I, the first time I went to see him, I was like, this makes so much sense. Yeah, it really does. You know, make an offer, get people to call you. Wow. <laughs> Have thought. a USP. You need a unique selling proposition, right? Right. So anyways. So now all of our business is from people that call us. That's right. So for the listeners here, just give us a couple tips. If they wanted to try to use YouTube as a lead generation tool, what can they do? Where well, to start? I would I would use both YouTube and Facebook. I would integrate both. Mm -hmm. um, but YouTube is great because it gets you to page one of Google. And, and so it's, it's, it's your opportunity. If you can kind of match what your, the realtor.com, truly a realtor, whatever these big box firms are doing online, um, to get your video to search engine optimize. And there's actually an awful lot of, uh, awful lot of uh, if you go to go to YouTube and Google <laughs> uh, search engine optimization for um, for YouTube videos there's some great really young guys the ones with the British accent are really cute to watch you know that will walk you through exactly how to do it and that's how I found out you know I I did like my millennial sunset and you know Google it <laughs> or go on YouTube and find so out how funny. to do it that's how I do everything yeah and so it, it was, that's how I learned it. It wasn't, you know, because I was trying to beat this problem that we have of, of being taken over by these big box companies, you know, and it's just a simple step. You, you basically put in your title, the address that they're using, exact characters. And then right after that, in the same title, I have my name and a phone number. In other words, you, you ask, you tell the customer what you want to do which is call me. That's right. <laughs> if you're interested, call me. And then in the description, make it a good substantial description. Include the, the address again in the description and, and what you want them to do for a private preview. Call me, right? And the same thing in the keywords. And that takes a little bit of research, but keywords are kind of like what the buyers are searching when they're searching for something online. 
So you want to get those big keywords that are used for that type of property, as well as the address and whatever else you want to do, your name with the phone number, whatever you think that they're searching. So um, that was just the basics. You know, that, that's really all I needed to do. And then I put the video and don't make the video public until you've finished optimizing it, make it private yeah, and then launch it. Because the moment you launch it as public, Google's trying to figure out where to categorize it and where to place it online for people that are searching. That's right. So you want to get, yeah, get I, everything ready. And we do ours as a, uh, um, unidentified, I think it's called. So you have either public, private, unlisted, or, I think unlisted. or unlisted. Yep, that's what mm-hmm. it is. And so yeah. then my uh, virtual assistant can go in and do all the editing. So when I have it when I have it that way, that's how he can uh, immediately get it without being shown to the public. So right. it's perfect. And your your um, your virtual assistants, by the way, are amazing. Oh, thank you. You have two full time virtual assistants. I have assistants. two, and they're awesome. Oh, they're doing some you. great stuff. What we're trying to you use YouTube because now I have a radio show. So um, what we're doing is actually overlaying uh, on top of the audio. We, we took video of it. We're trying to get that to match up and then overlay text so people can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, I'm having them work on that so we can provide content because, you know, it takes a while for people to trust you, <laughs> it especially does. millennials. That's right? right. They trust Google over us. That's right. That's true. <laughs> so so you need to be out there on Google providing value, explaining things. You That's know, right. Giving showing them how it works. They want education. We do we do a home buyer seminar and we get a lot of business from that because we're face to face with them. We explain to them the home buyer process. We tell stories so they can understand it. And um the people really, really appreciate education. So the more you're out there doing that, putting it everywhere on social media and YouTube, eventually people are going to say, wow, I see you everywhere. You well, know? and they do with you because I see you everywhere and I've seen what you've done. So any buyer or seller out there in the Colorado Springs area, that's I'm sure why you're getting more and more business all the time and why you're selling hundreds of homes every single year. Thank you. So, so for all the agents, okay, for referrals to the Colorado Springs area, or for buyers and sellers in your area, can you share your contact information on how they can reach out to you? Sure. Um, you can call me on my cell phone anytime or call the office. Um, my cell is 719-499-3334. Uh, you can Google me if you want to Google. And my name is Barb Schlenker. It's spelled S C H. L I N K E R, or you can go to Barb has the buyers.com and find out more. Uh, and then if you, if you would please go to my YouTube channel and, and check it out, I think it's named the Colorado Barb or just, you know, search YouTube for Barb Schlenker and you'll, you'll find me. Awesome, Thanks. Barb. Thank you so much. It was awesome today and so great to have you on our podcast. And thank you, listeners. Everybody have an awesome day. Thanks. Thank you. 